Now we shall discuss measure of central tendency mean median mode. So, a statistic is a characteristic or measure obtained by using data values from a sample. So, always remember statistic will be a characteristic or measure for a sample and a parameter is a characteristic or measure obtained by using all the data values from a specific population. So, statistic will be related with the sample and parameter will be related with the population. At first we are going to discuss mean. So, the mean is the sum of values divided by the total number of values and the symbol will be represented as this. So, whenever we are trying to calculate the mean, so the symbol represents the sample mean is this one. So, that is x bar is equal to x 1 plus x 2 up to x n then by n and that can be also written as sigma x by n where n represents the total number of values in the sample. So, always remember whenever we are trying to calculate the mean for a sample, it will be expressed in the form of x bar. So, now in case of population, the mean will be calculated and in that case, the, it will be expressed in the form of mu. So, here we are having this x 1 plus x 2 up to x n, the addition will be done by capital N, here it was small n, where, where small n was the size of the sample and here it is capital N, so that is sigma x by capital N. For a population, the Greek letter mu is used for the mean where capital N represents the total number of values in the population. So, now let us suppose the procedure for finding the mean for group data is given below. So, here we are having the respective classes. So, these are the lower class boundary, this is the upper class boundary. So, these are the lower class boundaries and these are the upper class boundaries and that is the respective frequency here we are having. So, now what we shall do, we shall calculate the midpoint. So, how to calculate the midpoint? That is the lower class boundary plus upper class boundary whole by 2. So, here we have calculated the midpoint and there is the respective frequency. So, B and C the columns are to be multiplied to get the column D that is F into X M. So, in this way you are getting the sum of that that is 490 and then 490 by the sum of the frequencies. So, here the sum of the frequency is 20 and that is 24.5 miles will be the respective mean for this given data. So, whenever we are having our data in the form of divided or in case of classified in multiple different classes, then how to calculate the mean we have shown that one. Next one we are going to discuss the weighted mean. So, find the weightage mean for weighted mean for a variable capital X by multiplying each value of its corresponding weight and dividing the sum of the products by the sum of the weights. So, here you can find that here we are having multiple values x1, x2, dot 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 xn and the respective weight values are w1, w2, dot 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 up to wn. So, here we shall go for the sum of the product terms. So, w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus dot 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 in this way we will be continuing up to wn xn and the full summation the full total will be replaced or will be divided by this sum of the all weightages. So, in this way the expression will be sigma w x by sigma w. So, where w1 w2 dot 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 up to wn are the weights and x1 x2 dot 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 xn are the respective values. Now, let us go for one uh, example here. So, English, English composition 1 introduction to psychology, biology 1 and physical education. So, here we are having 4 different courses and the respective credits and the weightage values are given here. And here we are having the respective grades that means the A, C, B and D. So, we have written the respective points for which this grade has been obtained by a student. So, in that case if you want to calculate the respective weighted mean, then it will be calculated using that formula. So, whatever you have derived. So, that is a 3 into 4 plus 3 into 2 in this way and this is the sum of the weightages and we are getting the average as 2.7. So, the grade point average is 2.7. Now, we are going for the median calculation. The median is the midpoint of the data array. The symbol for the median is capital M capital D MD. So, let us go for one example. The number of cloudy days for top 10 cloudiest cities is shown below. So, find out the median one. 
So, median is the midpoint of the data array that is the symbol for the median will be MD. So, we have discussed that one. So, what will happen here we are having the set of say 10 such values we are having. So, at first we can arrange those values, we can arrange those values and in that case as we are having 10 number of data and 10 is the even number. So, I cannot get the middle most one, but let us suppose the last value is missing and we are having 9 data here then obviously, the fifth value after arranging them in the shorted form in the ascending order and in that case we are having the fifth value will be the median in that case. So, if this 240 is not present if we are having 9 values here then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, the fifth data will be the median, but here the case is not like that here we are having 10 such data. So, obviously, for 10 data as 10 is even I am not going to find out the middle most value in that case I shall consider these two values and then I shall calculate the median considering their average. So, median that is MD will be equal to 213 plus 223 whole by 2 that is 218 hence the median is 218 days. Now, here we are going to calculate the mode the value that occurs most often in a data set is called the mode. So, let us go for one example find the mode of the signing bonuses of 8 NFL. So, players for a specific year. So, the, bon the bonuses in millions of dollars are given here. So, if you judge this particular value it might be getting the value 10 which is having the frequency highest that means 10 has occurred for 3 times. So, solution it is helpful to arrange the data in the order although it is not necessary in case of mode calculation. So, now what will happen if you go on ordering this data you can find that the same data will be coming adjacently. So, here you can find that 10 million occurred 3 times a frequency larger than any other number. So, the mode is dollar 10 millions in this particular case. So, sometimes it may happen that all the data are having the occurrence one only in that case I can say there is no mode available in that data set. Sometimes it may have happen that two data are having the same highest frequencies in that case we can call that this particular data set is bimodal. So, in our video we have discussed how to calculate the mean for sample and population mode and also the median. Thanks for watching this video.